Oh, oh my god, I think I want to cry. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sonia. I'm from Sydney, Australia, and today we're going to be reacting to Heartstopper Season 2, Episode 8, the finale. Season 2 has been amazing, and the last episode, Episode 7, was one of the hardest episodes for me to digest so much happened there was a lot of negativity i'd say in episode seven the mood was kind of low in certain parts nick coming out to his dad the tone of the entire scene was very defeated he he said i don't care to his dad a lot not caring about what his dad thought about him not caring about david and just being happy with where he is in life he just didn't care about those people's opinions because those people didn't serve him i felt really bad for nick because he wanted to come out to his dad but struggling so much and when he was finally able to he was like i'm just gonna tell him and this is for me because he's not part of my life so why should i care about him it just it was heavy it was so heavy finding out about darcy's like home situation i understand now why she's the way that she is I feel like she puts on that facade, that bravado, to show that she's unaffected by things. Who would have thought that Darcy had trouble at home? Now knowing that, it makes a lot of sense. Her mum is not very supportive. She's not a great parental figure. She has a very toxic relationship with her mum. And at the end, she actually ran away from home, packed some things and just got out of there. I'm pretty sure for many people, it was, it was hard to digest. We got Ben wanting to apologize and apologizing to Charlie ambushing him charlie actually not accepting his apology that was l and tau not wanting to tell him that she got accepted in the art program so much happened in episode seven i hope you guys enjoy this reaction to the finale of heartstopper thank you for casey cassie for watching my videos on patreon thank you so much let's get into heartstopper episode eight for season two the finale okay let's get into it Oh, he's got a new photo on the wall. Oh, Who even took that photo? That photo's adorable! Wow, that was the first thought when he woke up. He's like, I'm gonna post a photo of my boyfriend. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of comments. Wait, can I get more? It's a problem tonight. You sure you wanna go? This is the best my life has ever been. Oh. I don't have to hide my amazing boyfriend anymore. I'm not getting bullied. Everything's perfect. So we're gonna go to prom and we're gonna be the cutest couple there and everyone will see. <laughs> that's that's the positive vibes that we want. That's the spirit. Why is Nick is not feeling that great about it though? How oh, they changed the, the logo. <laughs> it just came out on Instagram. Oh. Oh wait, they haven't discussed if they're girlfriend and boyfriend yet, are they? Do you want to be my girlfriend? There we go! Was that a serious question? Yes! Yeah, they're gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine. Alright. Where did she stay last night? I'm very worried for Darcy. Guys. <laughs> I'm surprised they're not helping right now. <laughs> like, oh yes, and we also got Isaac. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I forgot! In the last episode, we also got Isaac figuring out that he may be ace or asexual. I'm so glad that he was able to figure it out or at least got some clarity when he went to see Elle's showcase. So I'm glad. Is he gonna tell his friends? He hasn't really said anything. Guys, I'm having a breakdown. Oh my god. Tow! I was gonna say, like, why aren't they wearing any, like, aprons or anything? You should, uh, invite him tonight. Oh, she knows? No, I, I don't know. Just tell him we need more chaperones. <sighs> Is it true you guys are going out? Yeah. I didn't know you were gay, Nick. Bye, actually, but yeah. Well, I think you guys look so cute together. Okay. I told you. Okay, good. Okay, that went well. <laughs> Do you want to stop and get something to eat? We can walk to the shop. I'll eat later. I had a really late breakfast. It's fine. Oh my god. I'm forgetting so much about what happened in episode 7. Nick researching about eating disorders because he's concerned that Charlie may have one or at least he wants to know more about it. 
my god. This season has been just jam-packed with a lot of things. <gasps> oh, we're gonna get them. We're gonna get some Tao and Nick moments. I'll do most of it. That makes sense. Yeah, it looks like she did a lot of it. I saw your Instagram post. Charlie must be really happy. I mean, he says he's really happy. But. But. I don't know. I, th I think he's been finding the attention, like, a lot. Mm. Well, yeah, he hates attention. He's just worried. And the bullying, all the things that happened to him in the past, they all really have affected him. And he still carries it all with him, even though it's over. It still causes him a lot of pain. But he's actually getting used to it. Bro, yeah. Nick's emotional yeah. intelligence is so high. I think when something really bad happens, it can affect you for a really long time. My dad died when I was 12 and, you know. Wow, he just I think dropped that. And I get so freaked out about losing my friends and losing Elle. It's because losing him was just like, yeah. Oh, he felt comfortable enough with Nick to share don't that. No, don't be weird about it. I'll try. <laughs> Good. Aww. They're getting along. You know the bullying. You know how bad it was, don't you? I mean, I had some stuff, but, um, yeah, Charlie never really talked to me about it. Me neither. He didn't talk to anybody about it. Wow, he looks so good. I love that color on him. Can you close your eyes? For the record, I think you always look cute. Oh. Oh, wow! I can't believe you're my boyfriend. <sighs> Please open my eyes now. They both look so good. I love that color on Charlie. Such a nice color. Okay. Does, does Bullet look bad? No. <laughs> you look so good. Oh. So How about we don't go to prom? We just stay here instead. No, we have to go. Everyone's expecting us to go together now. A big public appearance of the couple. That's, that's definitely what we want. Hmm. Where the fuck is Darcy, man? I don't think Darcy's mum was very nurturing. I mean, obviously. That's very hard on a child when their parents aren't accepting of them and love them unconditionally. I can relate to that. You look... You're, you're so... Hello. He's speechless. Where's Darcy? Yeah. Oh, she's running late. Let's just go inside. Well, are you sure we can wait for her? No. She'll show up in a bit. Oh. Where's Imogen? I can't believe Nick's showing off his boyfriend, but none of you managed to bring a girl. <laughs> Okay, oh, that uh, could have been bad. Why is it? Why not? Because it's so embarrassing just standing there on my own. Right, come on, then the four of us are getting oh, on. Oh, <laughs> 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 Tell her. What's wrong? What's happened? I don't think she's coming. I know something's wrong, but she never wants to talk about this. <laughs> How do you talk to someone about something that they don't want to talk about? With great difficulty. Maybe, maybe you just have to try. Yeah, even if it doesn't work. Aww. Where's Imogen? Hmm. I'm gonna go to Lambert. I know. Ace. That night in Paris, pretty stupid thing for us to do. Never start off like that, never. Gotta let the other person speak! Well, I was gonna suggest dinner and drinks next time. Imogen! Wow, she looks so good! Love that light like on her. Oh, 
Hey, my Jen. You okay there? Are you a little starstruck? <laughs> no. Nick knows that Charlie gets quite um, uncomfortable in social settings. Can we leave? I thought this was what you wanted. I I'm not worried about people seeing us together. But why should they have to see? We've been so obsessed with the idea of coming out. It's like we've forgotten why we wanted to do it in the first place. It's not for them. I just want to have a fun night with you and our friends. Yeah, I want that too. David and my mum are out tonight, so... <gasps> Darcy, finally! Oh, I'm supposed to be vampire theme. Oh my god. Where's Tara? She went to find you. I was gonna say, why wouldn't Tara go to Darcy's home if she was, like, worried about her? Oh my god, but... Uh... Darcy's mom probably doesn't even know that Darcy's in a relationship and that she has a girlfriend. Hi. Hope we don't take cold calls. Sorry. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm Darcy's friend. She said she was coming to Bosco Pond tonight, but she didn't show up. And uh, she Jesus, hasn't been Jesus, even just the way her mom is presented is very intimidating. Is she okay? And how would I know that? You're her Do mom? You know she is? She had another one of her tantrums last night. Over an outfit. She looked like a lesbian. She didn't realise she was in the wrong. She'll come straight mm. back. Okay. If I find her, I'll ask her to let you know she's okay. Thanks, Jen. Bye. You know, some mums aren't meant to be mums. She's very cold. <laughs> Oh, group hug! <laughs> Where did you sleep? Yeah, I'm worried the same thing. I went to the park. Why didn't you text me? My phone was out of battery and I didn't have a charger. Why didn't you walk to my house? Because I didn't want you to know. <sighs> you told me you didn't feel as confident about being a lesbian as I did. And I wanted to be that person for you to help you through your journey. But you are that person. Like at school? I'm not even out to my own parents. I don't think I ever will be. I cried who I am when I'm not home. Sometimes my mum makes me hate it. But then you said I love you. But what if that person doesn't even exist? Well, you were scared to say it back because you didn't really believe that I could love you. Oh my god, this is too much. I'm like tearing up. I've only ever seen half of my life. Disaster. Oh, I know. <laughs> I actually like how much of a disaster you are. Oh my god. I am so <sighs> in love with you. Guys, come on. I'm bouncing. There are other ways to say I love you. You don't have to say the words. I love you. Mm. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. That is so cute. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Aww. Is there when gonna mention like Isaac's book? Hmm. Oh, he's such a... I love that Nick and and Tao are developing a good like friendship. <laughs> See what you're doing. Distracting him with the kisses. My plan's been foiled. You got so many rugby trophies. <laughs> that was from summer camp. When I was twelve. I think I had a crush on the instructor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was obsessed <laughs> with him. Got that trophy for being the best team player. Now your turn. Tell me something. Like what? You never told me about the bullying. We didn't need to talk about that. Everything's fine now. Is everything fine? Like, I know you like everything to be fine and happy and perfect all the time, but you don't have to be perfect with me. Uh, 
Oh my god. Nick has a way with words. Can we talk about how far away they are? They're not having this conversation like next to one another. They're having this conversation from across the room. It's to showcase the distance. And Nick is closing it now. Someone just so tall talking about me coming home. I think it surprised me how homophobic people were. People would just call me disgusting to my face. And it went on for so long that I think I started to believe what they were saying. It made me really hate myself. I used to. I used to cut myself sometimes. I don't want to feel like that anymore. Oh my god, this is so, this is so heavy. This is this is very heavy. I just think you don't know. Mm. Oh. Oh my god, I think I want to cry. Hurting me. No, Charlie. I don't want you to think I'm some twelve year old broken mess. I want you to fix me. I want to hate the ugly you. I promise. And I wouldn't. But I've done so many things that you're scary in the past few months because you were there holding my hand. And I want to be that for you too. <sighs> He's telling me he loves him without saying he loves him. I love your hair so much. <laughs> Every week. Go ahead. I love your eyes. <laughs> I love you. God damn it. <sighs> he was going to say he loves him. God, they kissed so much this season. Like. <sighs> God, they're so in love! God fucking damn it! <sighs> oh my god. I'll text you when I get home. I'm so sweet. <sighs> I'll see you tomorrow. You want to say that I love you for like in person. That first I love you. Oh my god. How dare you cut it there? God damn it! Okay, I did not want to interrupt that last scene between Nick and Charlie when he was in his room, but oh my god. Jeez. I absolutely adore how into Nick is with Charlie and how patient he is with Charlie, how accepting he is. The fact that he knows when Charlie is going through something and he knows how to coat him out of himself because sometimes Charlie can be a bit, he can be a bit in his head sometimes and he can let the negatives negative talk kind of get to him. He's a type to suffer in silence and Nick is able to see that. I like how he approaches Charlie and how he talks to him to get him to open up to him. It is absolutely beautiful. You can really see how well adjusted Nick is. He's very comfortable in his own skin. We can see that he's been tested a lot during this season, especially the pressures of wanting to come out. Charlie has difficulty being okay. As someone who goes through mental disorders and depressive states, 
I can really understand Charlie not wanting to burden anyone and not wanting to make anyone uncomfortable and doesn't want attention. Nick is definitely not tied down by a lot of mental stresses and burdens unlike Charlie. They work so well together and I love that for this season we can see like a role reversal for both Nick and Charlie. It's just so sweet. They are just precious i love them to bits both nick and charlie has said i love you in so many ways so many times without actually saying i love you they haven't said i love you yet but they're at, they're literally at the cusp darcy and tara tao and l maybe in season three we'll get more about isaac this season has been great that's it that is my rash for Heartstopper Season 2, Episode 8, the finale. What did you guys think? What was your favourite part? Did you guys love this season as much as I did? Let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe I'll see you for Season 3. I'm not too sure yet. These reactions aren't doing as well as I'd like them to. So, who knows? I might do it. I might not. But, yeah. Thank you again for supporting me on Patreon and YouTube. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next reaction.